Hey there ladies and gentlemen, today I am bringing you a Smogon doubles battle against Cool Gamer 4161 Cool Gamer challenge me to a battle through the link that is in the description. Uh, that is the best way to battle me because my schedule is so hectic and I don't know when I'll be having free time so it doesn't really make sense to schedule stuff. What makes more sense is for you to give me your information, add me as a friend, and then if I'm online and I see you're online then I'm going to be like, yes, let's battle! And then that works out. So anyway. Um, Smog on doubles match, cool gamer. Uh, looking at his team, I'm not sure who the Mega is, whether it's Alakazam or Aerodactyl. It's not Sableye yet because this is still um, this is still X and Y and not the uh, Gen 3 remakes for people watching this in the future. Okay, so gonna want to withdraw. Um, gonna definitely want to withdraw my Hoopaloop because the Will O Wisp is a very obvious move. And I do have Heal Bell, but I don't want to be dicking around with Heal Bell, especially against his team, considering that was his... Uh, uh, so Will was actually missed anyway, but it didn't matter. Um, so I go for the Discharge. His Energy Ball did a crap ton of damage. I was very surprised there. Anyway, um, what was I trying to say? So yeah, I want to keep Gardo. I'm, I'm probably going to be using Gardevoir rather offensively. People uh, who've seen my other doubles battles know that Gardevoir has basically been dead weight on my team. I don't want to say dead weight, but I just it's it's been thwarted in all in all my attempts to use it well. And so this bat match, I've got he's got what uh, three Pokemon that are hit super effectively by fire, Fairy type moves. So having Gardevoir around and in an offensive role is going to be important. I go ahead and Mega Evolve. I'll uh, lose the telepathy ability, so I'm not going to be using Discharge again anytime soon. Uh, but it does mean that Hyper Voice will be boosted in terms of base power, uh, and it will also take on Fairy Typing. So, uh, uh, it, it was, by the way, it was lame hacks that I got both of his Pokemon paralyzed with that Discharge. The odds of getting one Pokemon paralyzed, at least one Pokemon paralyzed, are greater than 50%, but the odds of getting his Alakazam specifically paralyzed. Uh, that was the one that mattered. Sableye, who cares? Um, Sableye is, it didn't matter at all because it's got the prankster anyway. But Alakazam crippled without the um, without its amazing speed. So yeah, that sucked. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry, cool gamer. If that really sucked for you. Um, but anyway, uh, I digress. So I'm gonna want to withdraw because Iron Head is very obvious, and I don't have anything that can take it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch out into Treedledum, where even if he goes for a Mega Horn, it's not super effective against either of my two Pokemon actually, um, because Fairy typing, or Fairy, both Fairy and Ghost resist. Fairy Ghost Pokemon would be interesting, by the way. I wonder when they'll make that. So um, yeah, Mega Horn on the next turn, not super effective. I don't care. Tachikoma is going to die this turn due to a burn, but I took out Alakazam on the previous turn with that Thunderbolt, so that is great. And that is one huge threat. Well, it was it was made useless by that. Well, I, if it, okay, I'm babbling. But what I was trying to say is, if I hadn't taken it out, then it probably would have done a massive amount of damage. Um, but I took it out, so it's not a problem. So now out comes Aerodactyl. It's pr almost certainly Mega Aerodactyl uh, because his Alakazam was not Mega. Uh, so I go ahead and I, had, I sent out my Hitmon top. Get off the Intimidate, that's going to be nice against both of his physical attackers. He's got lots of physical attackers on this team, by the way. Uh, he's going to go in Mega Evolve, that was expected. Uh, now he'll get that uh, Tough Claws boost. And I'm thinking, I wonder if it's going to go for um, Earthquake or uh, more likely Rock Slide. So I go for the Wide Guard, thinking he might go for. he's probably going to go for the Rock Slide. But Rock Slide isn't boosted by um, Tough Claws. He goes for a move that is, which is Sky Drop. And when he did that, I was like... Dude, Sky Drop is totally banned in doubles because it causes that glitch, and that's bad. And yeah, you can't use Sky Drop in doubles. Um, and I actually sent him a message to that effect. Uh, yeah, so a knockoff, by the way, here. Uh, and losing leftovers is actually kind of a big deal on Trevenant. But anyway, I sent him a message after the battle. I was like, dude, good game, but you can't use try Sky Drop in doubles. And then right after I sent that email, I decided to look it up. It wasn't an email, but whatever. I decide to look it up, and I see, no, no, that was just Gen 5. They fixed the Sky Drop bug in Gen 6. Sky Drop is totes allowed. Totes allowed in Gen 6, smog on doubles. So I felt like a douchebag. And I said, ignore the last message. I was an idiot. So I've got now both of his Pokemon burned. Back on subject. Back on subject in the battle. So that's great, because both of them are physical attackers. Both of them are now going to be very non-threatening. Uh, Treedledum is getting low on health, but I do have that very, very nice... Uh, um, ability natural cure coupled with rest so rest switch out back to up to full health and that'll be nice as long as you know i don't die next turn so i have cosmic f go for a wide guard here i'm i was thinking maybe i should switch it out because you know it'd be nice to get the intimidate drop later on but 
Ah, uh, yeah. So he goes for the Iron Head against Treadle Dump, does nothing. Treadle Dump goes for the rest and is going to heal back up to full, 100% full health. So that is awesome. That is totes awesome. I'm saying totes a lot. I'm really enjoying the word totes. Um, here comes, yeah, even at minus one defense, that's not going to do anything. Um, probably my opponent would have, well, hmm, would my opponent have been better off using Sky Drop? I don't actually know. I, and I'm actually not sure what happens when your uh, when a uh, Pokemon uses Sky Drop and dies in the air. Uh, the Pokemon that's holding, what happens to it? That was, I believe, the bug in Gen 5, so I'm not sure what happens in Gen 6. Anyway, now out is going to be Halucha. I would love to burn this thing, but I don't actually, I'm not actually in a good situation to do so. So I've got to switch out. Um, I go now out into Rico, my scissor, and uh, he goes for the sky attack. Uh, I was like, sky attack? What the heck? And then um, it's like, oh, he's got the power of... So it's a one-use item, and I guess that works, but... Uh, yeah, he goes ahead and hits Rico, and I think well, it's not super effective. And indeed, it does not KO. I'm gonna go ahead and take out a scav. I uh, don't take out a scavalier. Excuse me. I'm now at minus two defense uh, defenses, but I do not take out a scavalier um, because it wasn't super effective or anything. So he goes for an Iron Head. Uh, Cosmic F is going to die at minus two defenses. Probably could have survived at minus one. Um, a scavalier is not dead yet. It's very, very close to being dead, but it's not dead yet. I go now out into Kira. And I'm thinking this, uh, so I got a bullet punch this, the Escavalier, so this is a good strategy because now, um, I believe, if I remember correctly the mechanics, since there's only one target left, the power of Hyper Voice will be boosted. Uh, correct me, folks, if I'm wrong. Uh, he goes to the high jump kick against Rico. Rico is going to die. That's fine. Rico did a decent job. I didn't really need it considering his last two Pokemon are weak to uh, hy uh, Hyper Voice. And I hit his Halucha. Take it out, and now he's down to one Pokemon, one Pokemon only, and by the way, it's weak to Hyper Voice. Oh, and it's also weak to Ice type moves, and I've got my Mammal Swine out. So out now is going to be Gudra as his last Pokemon, and this, this is good game. So great, great, great game, uh, Cool Gamer. Uh, I finally got to use my Gardevoir to uh, powerful effect this match, and that made me so happy. Uh, because Gardevoir just died really quickly in my previous matches. So, uh, great to see that Gardevoir is as awesome as I always knew it would be. Folks, I hope you folks all at home enjoyed this battle. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. So long.